IPS or VA? VA or IPS? IPS or IPA? Wait, this is all so confusing. What does this all mean? Hey, I'm Nicholas from ratings.com. If you're looking for a new monitor and you aren't sure about all the names and acronyms thrown at you, don't worry, we've got you covered. Here at Ratings, we've independently tested over 360 monitors since 2017, so we know a thing or two about IPS and VA panels. Essentially, IPS and VA are both LCD panel types and are technically similar, but still pretty different when it comes down to performance. Today, we'll break that all down for you and cover the main differences between these two. Is one truly better than the other? And which one should you get? First off, we got to talk about the technical differences between them. IPS, which stands for in-plane switching, and VA, which is vertical alignment, are both LCD panel types. This LCD panel is one of multiple components in the monitor sitting between polarizers and glass substrate layers. The LCD panel itself isn't what produces an image, but it relies on LED backlights. When voltage excites the liquid crystals in both VA and IPS panels, they rotate to let light pass through. But the difference between them is how these crystals rotate. In IPS panels, the crystals rotate parallel to the glass substrate, similar to how the hands on your watch move. But in VA panels, they sit vertically to the glass substrate and tilt to let light through. This may seem like a small difference between the two, but it's the reason why they perform differently. It's also important to remember that not all IPS and VA panels are the same. There are many companies that produce these panels from Samsung Display, LG Display, BOE, AU Optronics, and Inilux, just to name a few. There are different types of VA and IPS panels out there because of this. This is especially true for IPS panels where even the shape of the subpixels can change. There are some minor differences between these panel subtypes, like how some have better motion handling than others. But overall, these are all considered IPS because of how the crystals rotate. Plus, it's hard to know which exact manufacturer produced the panel without opening up the monitor, which we don't do because we like to keep our monitors for any future retesting. Regardless of who made the panel, what matters is how it performs, and all these IPS panel types share the same characteristics. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on general differences between IPS and VA monitors, and not on these slightly different panels. All right, with that out of the way, we could talk about those differences between IPS and VA panels. First off, the contrast. This is where VA is the clear winner. Out of 87 VA monitors that we've tested since 2017, they have an average native contrast ratio of just over 3300 to 1, compared to an average of around 1100 to 1 for IPS monitors. This means VA panels display deeper blacks next to bright highlights, which is great for watching content or gaming in a dark room. This doesn't mean that all IPS monitors have a low contrast ratio though. There are some with IPS black panels that boost the contrast closer to 2000 to 1. And there are also IPS monitors that use mini LED backlighting, which helps improve the contrast by deepening blacks and making highlights brighter. This BenQ monitor is an example of local dimming that really improves the black levels in dark scenes. Of course, there are VA monitors that also use mini LED backlighting, and generally, these display even deeper blacks than IPS counterparts. For example, the local dimming on the AOC Q27 G3 XMN doubles its contrast from 4500 to 1 to 9600 to 1. All this to say is that yes, VA panels have better blacks, but you can still find an IPS monitor with good contrast. You just need to know what to look for. While the contrast is the greatest strength of VA panels, IPS wins when it comes to viewing angles. There are two benefits to this. First, if you're looking at the monitor from the sides, like if you're gaming with a friend next to you, you'll see a more consistent image on an IPS screen. The image washes out and colors look different from the sides on a VA panel. This is also true if you're sitting in front of the monitor and looking at the edges. For example, if you're looking at a flat, ultra-wide VA panel, you'll notice that the edges are washed out and the image isn't consistent across the screen. Some VAs are curved to solve this issue as they bring the edges closer to you, 
but it's just a band-aid solution because it doesn't actually improve the viewing angles. Of course, IPS panels are far from perfect and you'll notice some differences at really wide angles, but overall, any IPS monitor has wider viewing angles than any VA. Another area that IPS has the advantage is motion, though it's not so clear-cut as saying all IPS monitors are better than all VA displays. The biggest issue with VA is that these monitors tend to have slow response times when going from dark to bright colors and vice versa. This leads to black smearing with fast moving objects in dark scenes, which is an issue almost all VAs have. Even a VA monitor that has an incredibly fast total response time of under 5 milliseconds still has some smearing. This is because its slowest response times are in dark to bright and bright to dark color transitions. And this is what good motion on a VA looks like. Unfortunately, there are others that look a lot worse. Many IPS monitors still have blur, but they just don't have the same smearing as a VA. So, if you game with a lot of fast moving objects in dark scenes, you're better off going with an IPS. But this is a general statement, and if you're curious about how a certain monitor performs, you can always check the review on our website. Besides that, when it comes to motion and gaming, VAs fall short because they tend to have distracting VRR flicker. This happens when there's a big change in the frame rate with VRR enabled, and it's most noticeable in dark scenes. Unfortunately, it's an issue that plagues pretty much any VA monitor. Even though there are some IPS monitors with this flicker, it just isn't as widespread as with VAs. Lastly, let's talk about colors. Generally speaking, IPS monitors display a wider range of colors, but it can vary case by case. Looking at data from 61 IPS and 23 VA monitors we've tested, the IPS monitors display a wider range of colors on average in SDR and HDR color spaces. That said, there's still a big spread in performance. There are quite a few VA monitors that have better colors than IPS monitors. Plus, the battle is closer when looking at the average color volume between the two. There's still a big spread here, but VAs are generally better at displaying darker colors thanks to their higher contrast. This is why you should still consider the monitor's overall performance before buying it and not just rely on knowing its panel type. Even something like color accuracy varies between units, and the panel type has no impact on it. You can say the same about other things that aren't impacted by the panel type. This includes brightness, uniformity, text clarity, cost, and input lag, which all change from model to model. So now that we know the main differences between IPS and VA panels, we can answer our main question. Which one is better? Neither. Okay, that's not entirely true. Choosing one over the other really comes down to your needs. If you need something for gaming or watching content in a dark room, then a VA monitor is the better choice. IPS monitors with mini LED backlighting are also good for this, but you have a limited selection of these models. On the other hand, if you're looking for something for work or content creation, IPS pulls ahead thanks to its wider viewing angles and improved colors. Plus, if you're a gamer, there are a ton of IPS models to choose from, and they don't have black smearing or VRR flicker like on VAs. At the end of the day, there are so many things to think about when buying a monitor, and its panel type is only one of them. That's all for our comparison between IPS and VA panels. Do you want to learn more? We have a full article on our website, including other articles about the pros and cons of each panel. The links are in the description below. And if you have any other questions, you could always ask in the comments. Until next time, I'm Nicholas from Ratings.com, where we help you find the best panel type for your needs. Ciao. This is what people do when they think. Mm-hmm.